Hi everyone, uh, welcome back sa aking channel. So for today's video, uh, we will discuss day 5, number 226 to 230 of 1001 solved problems in engineering mathematics. So this is all about sum of arithmetic progression and harmonic progression. Okay, so let's start. Number 226. When all odd numbers from 1 to 101 are added, the result is... Okay, so ang gagamitin natin formula dito, sum ng uh, arithmetic progression, meron tayong first term tsaka second terms or last term. So ang gagamitin natin formula dyan ay equal sa S sub N is equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. Okay, so our A sub 1 here is the first term that is 1 and our last term is 101. Pero hindi pa natin alam yung N. So, isolve muna natin yung n. To get the value of n, gamitin natin ang formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, given a sub n natin, yung last term is 101. First term is a sub 1, 1. So, we have plus n minus 1 times d. So, ano ba yung magiging value ng d natin dito? Ang sabi, when all add numbers. Okay. Since add numbers, so yung mga add numbers natin, 1, 3, 5, 7. So, ang common difference nun ay 2. Okay? So, therefore, ang D natin ay 2. So, pwede na natin isolve ang N. So, we can uh, pagsamahin natin 1 and 101. So, subtract 1 to both sides. So, we have 100 na lang ito. And then, itong right side, i-distribute natin itong 2. So, we have 2 times N. We have 2N. And then, 2 times negative 1. That is negative 2. Okay? And then, next... Uh, Add 2 to both sides. So, add 2 to both sides. So, therefore, we have 102 is equal to 2n. Then, divide both sides by 2. So, the value of n is equal to 102 divided by 2. That is equal to 51. So, now, i-substitute na natin itong value ng n na 51 dito sa formula natin. So, therefore, ang s sub n natin is equal to 51 divided by 2 times a sub 1 is 1 plus a sub n, that is 101. So, simplify lang natin yan. So, S sub n is equal to 51 over 2 times 1 plus 101, that is 102. So, i-divide muna natin ito, 102 divided by 2, that is equal to 51. So, therefore, ang sum ng 1 to 100, all add numbers from 1 to 100 ay 51 square lang yan. So, multiply na lang natin. So, we have 1 times 51, that is 51. 5 times 1, we have 5. 5 times 5. 25, so therefore, the correct answer is 1. 5 plus 5, that is 10. Carry 1, so we have 6. And then 2. So therefore, the correct answer is 2,601, and that is letter B. Okay, so next number, number 227. How many times will a grandfather's clock strikes in one day if it, stri if it strikes only at the hours and strike once at 1 o'clock? twice at 2 o'clock, thrice at 3 o'clock, and so on. Okay, so, nagpa-follow to ng uh, arithmetic uh, series or yung sum ng arithmetic uh, progression kasi ang sabi, how many times will a grandfather's clock strike in one day? And then, ang sabi daw, once at 1 o'clock, twice at 2 o'clock, thrice at 3 o'clock, and so on. So, therefore, Ang a sub 1 natin ay 1. a sub 2 ay equal sa 2. a sub 3 natin ay equal sa 3 and so on. So hanggang hanggang a sub 12 equal sa 12. Dahil meron lang hanggang 12 yung clock natin. Pero ang sabi dito, 1 day. Pag sinabing 1 day, 24 hours yan. Okay? Pero mauulit lang ito. So a sub 1 hanggang 12 pagdating ng so, ito yung 1 a.m. hanggang 12 noon. Tapos, pagdating ng 1 p.m., magiging once at 1 o'clock ulit yan. So, therefore, kunin lang natin yung sum ng S sub 12. Okay? Sum ng, ng 1 hanggang 12 noon. 1 a.m. hanggang 12 noon. Tapos, imumultiply na lang natin sa 2. Okay? So, anong formula natin? Sum ng first 12 terms natin ay equal sa... So, general formula muna tayo. S sub n is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Since given naman ang first term, tsaka yung last term natin, ito na lang formula na ito ang gamitin natin. Okay, so ang s sub n natin, so 
yung n pwede nating palitan 12 lang yung hinahanap natin so s sub 12 so we have ang n natin ay 12 divided by 2 times a sub 1 natin first term is 1 plus ang last term natin ay 12 so simplify lang natin to 12 divided by 2 so that is equal to 6 and then times 1 uh 1 plus 12 we have 13 so therefore we have ang sum ng first 12 terms natin so 13 times 6 so therefore that is equal to 6 times 3 that is equal to 18 6 times 1 6 plus 1 so we have 78 so s sub 12 equal 78 pero dalawang beses nang mauulit dahil lang sabi one day okay so times lang natin sa 2 so 78 times 2 the final answer is 16 set 2 times 7 14 plus 1 15, therefore, the correct answer is letter C, 156. Okay, so next number, number 228. To conserve energy to the present uh, energy crisis, the Meralco tried to readjust their charges to electrical energy users who consume uh, more than 2,000 kilowatt hours. For the first 100 kilowatt hour, they charge 40 centavos and increasing at a constant rate more than the preceding one until the fifth 100 kilowatt hour the charge is 76 centavos how much is the average charge for the electrical energy per 100 kilowatt hour okay so again arithmetic uh, progression ito dahil ang sabi dito sa problem yung more than 2000 kilowatt hours daw yung first 100 kilowatt hour they charge 40 centavos. So, 40 centavos ang i-charge dun sa first 100 kilowatt hours and increasing at a constant rate. Ito yung keyword natin dito, constant rate, para malaman natin na arithmetic progression yan. Okay? And then sabi, ayan, constant rate more than the preceding one until the fifth 100 kilowatt hour. Okay, so sa pang fifth na 100 kilowatt hour, ang charge daw ay 76 centavos. So therefore, ang A sub 1 natin ay 40. Tapos, yung pang 5 daw, 5 na 100 kilowatt hour, so A sub 5, that is equal to 76 centavos. So ang hinahanap natin, how much is the average charge? Average charge for the electrical energy per 100 kilowatt hour. So kunin lang natin yung average nung bali lima ito, A sub 1 hanggang A sub 5. Okay, so therefore, we have A sub 1. Kunin lang natin yung value ng... Ayan, so meron tayo ditong 40, so ito yung A sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 4, and then A sub 5 natin is 76. So kunin lang natin yung mga values dito para makuha yon solve muna natin ang common difference natin. Okay, so given A sub 1 and A sub 5, and then ang terms natin ay N equals 5. So solve for the value of D, use the formula A sub N equals A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, ang last term natin, a sub 5 lang. So, we have a sub 5 is equal to a sub 1 plus 4d. Substitute natin ng mga given. a sub 5 is 76. a sub 1 is 40. And then, we have plus 4d. Solve for d. Subtract 40 to both sides. Therefore, we have 76 minus 40 is 36. Equals 4d. And then, divide both sides by 4. Therefore, the value of D is equal to 36 divided by 4, that is 9. So, ang second term natin, 40 plus 9, we have 49. Plus 9, we have 58. Plus 9, that is equal to 67. Plus 9, 76. So, may shortcut tayo dito. Pag kumukuha tayo ng average ng arithmetic progression, automatic ang average niyan ay yung gitna. Lalo na kapag, even, uh, kapag add numbers. So, meron tayong 5 terms. Add number yung 5. So, automatic ang average nun ay yung gitna. Kapag even number naman, ang average nun yung dalawang, yung average nun dalawang gitna. Okay? So, pag kinuha natin ang average nyan, x bar equals summation of x over n. So, pag in natin lahat itong 5 na yan, dinivide natin sa 5. So, ito rin yung makukuha natin, 58. So, shortcut na lang natin. Basta arithmetic uh, progression, automatic ang average nun yung gitna. Okay, so the correct answer is letter A, 58 centavos. Okay, so next number, number 229. The third term of harmonic progression is 15 and the ninth term is 6. Find the 11th term. Okay, so ano ba muna ang ibig sabihin ng arithmetic prog ng harmonic progression? 
Pag sinabing harmonic progression, ang ibig sabihin niyan ay sequence of numbers whose reciprocals form an arithmetic progression. So sequence ng number yung reciprocal daw. So yung reciprocal ay, ay magpo-form ng arithmetic progression. Okay? So yun yung ibig sabihin ng harmonic progression. So ang sabi dito sa problem, ang third term daw ay 15. So we have third term ng harmonic progression. So ibig sabihin, uh, H, H, H sub 3 is equal to 15. Pero harmonic sequence nga, so kukunin natin yung reciprocal nito. So ang reciprocal niyan, so A sub 3 natin ay 1 over 15. And then ang sabi, the ninth term is 6. So ninth term, H sub uh, 9 is equal to 6. So kunin natin yung reciprocal. So ang reciprocal niyan, A sub 9 is equal to 1 over 6. Okay? So hinahanap natin, find the eleventh term. Yan. So eleventh term ang hinahanap natin. So arithmetic progression daw, reciprocal lang yung pinuha natin dun sa mga given. Kunin lang yung reciprocal tapos gagamitin na natin yung formula para sa para sa arithmetic uh, progression. Okay? So we have formula given natin, a sub 3 and a sub 9. So ano bang formula for a sub 3? a sub 3 is equal to a sub 1 plus 2 times d. Okay? So yan yung equation 1 natin. Equation 1. Pero uh, substitute pala muna natin yung mga, yung mga given natin. So yung a sub 3 natin, that is 1 over 15. So, 1 over 15 equals a sub 1 plus 2d. So, I think equation number 1 natin. And then, equation number 2 dito naman sa a sub 9. So, ang value ng uh, a sub 9 ay, ayan, 1, 6. So, we have 1, 6. So, kunin mo natin yung formula pala muna. So, we have a sub 9 equals a sub 1 plus, subtract ng 1 sa 9. So, we have 8d. Then, substitute natin yung mga yung value ng a sub 9, that is 1, 6 equals a sub 1 plus 8d. So this will be our equation number 2. So sa equation 1 and equation number 2, pwede na nating masolve ang a sub 1 tsaka yung d. Okay, so solve lang natin ang a sub 1 dyan tsaka yung d. Pero ang kailangan lang natin dito yung ano eh, no? So... Yung letter D, or, or kahit na, isod na natin uh, kahit alin dito sa dalawa. Kung anong gusto nyo mang unahin, A sub 1 or, or yung D. So mas madali, ikan, by elimination method, makakancel na agad kasi yung A sub 1. Okay, so pag sinabtrack lang natin. So subtract natin ang equation na uh, ano bang mas malaki dito. Mas malaki tong 1, 6 kaysa sa 1 over 15. So gawin natin equation 2 minus equation 1 para makancel agad yung A sub 1. Okay, so we have 1, 6 equals a sub 1 plus 8d. And then we have 1 over 15 equals uh, a sub 1 plus 2d. So isubtract lang natin. Change the sign lang tayo. Tapos itong 1, 6, tsaka 1 over 15, gawin nating uh, similar fractions. So ano bang LCD ng 6 at 15? Ang LCD nun ay 30. So, gawin natin 30 parehas itong 6 at 15. So, para maging 30 itong denominator natin, i-multiply natin sa 5 over 5. So, magiging 30 na siya. Ito namang 1 over 15, i-multiply natin sa 2 over 2. Okay? And then, subtract na natin. So, subtract na natin yan. Subtract. Magiging subtraction na lahat yung sign natin. Okay? So, therefore, we have... Subtract na natin. A sub 1 minus A sub 1. Siyempre, makakancel na yan. 8D minus 2D, so magiging 6D na lang yan. Itong kabila naman, i-multiply natin. So magkakaroon tayo ng 5 over 30. So denominator natin ay 5 times 6, 30. Ito sa baba, 2 times 15, 30 din. So ang magiging numerator natin, 5 minus 2. So that is equal to 3 over 30. And then pag na lowest term pala, yung 3 over 30, magiging na siyang 1 over 10. So lowest term ng 3 over 30, that is 1 over 10 equals 6D. Okay, and then, kailangan di lang. So, divide natin both sides by by 6. Divide both sides by 6 or parehas din yan ng multiply both sides by 1, 6. Para hindi na nakakalito dito. So, 1, 6 times 1, 6 or divided by 6, same lang yon. So, maka-cancel out na ito. Therefore, the value of D is 1 over, 1 over 60. Okay, so ito yung value ng D, 1 over 60. 
So tapos, pwede na nating ma-solve yung A sub 1 natin. Substitute natin dito sa equation 1 or equation 2. Kung saan nyo man gustong i-substitute, dito na lang sa equation 1, may value na tayo ng D1 over 60. So ipalit lang dito, we have 1 over 15 equals A sub 1 plus 2 D. Ang value ng D ay 1 over 60. So therefore, we have 1 over 15 equals A sub 1 plus 2 over 60. So, divide natin yung 2 at 60 sa 2. So, pag dinivide sa 2 yan, magiging na siyang 1 over, 1 over 30. So, solve for, solve for A sub 1. Lipat lang natin si 1 over 30 sa kabilang side. So, we have 1 over 15 minus 1 over 30 equals A sub 1. So, gawin natin similar fractions. Ang 1 over 15, gawin natin 30 by multiplying sa Yung 15, pwedeng maging 30 yan. Multiply natin sa 2. Sa 2 over 2. So therefore, so therefore uh, A sub 1 is equal to 2 over 30 minus 1 over 30. So A sub 1 is equal to 1 over 30. Okay, so 1 over 30. So ngayon, pwede na natin malaman ang ating, ang ating 11 term. So paano nakuhanin yung 11 term natin? Meron na tayong A sub 1 tsaka so, A, 11 term is A sub 11 is equal to A sub 1 plus 11 minus 1, 10D. So, substitute na lang natin yung mga given natin. A sub 11 equals, ang A sub 1 natin is 1 over 30 plus 10 times the value of D is 1 over 60. Okay? So, simplify lang natin ito. 10 over 60. So, Itong una natin, 30. Tapos meron tayo ditong 1 over 60. Para mas madali, gawin na lang itong 60, gawin na lang natin 30. So, imbis na sa 10 natin i-divide parehas, i-divide natin parehas itong 10 at 60 sa 2 lang. Sa 2 lang para maging 30 siya. Magiging same siya. So, 10 divided by 2, magiging 5. 60 divided by 2, magiging 30. Okay? So, parehas na siya. So, parehas na ng denominator na 30. So, therefore, we have 1 plus 5. 1 over 30 plus 5 over 30, that is equal to 6 over 30. And then pag ni lowest term natin, ang 6 over 30, i-divide parehas sa 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 30 divided by 6 is 5. So, ang A sub 11 natin ay 1 fifth. So, syempre, babalik na rin natin yan. So, therefore, ang magiging H sub 11 natin, yung harmonic uh, sequence natin, 11 term ng harmonic progression ay reciprocal ng 1 fifth. And that is equal to 5. So the correct answer is letter B, 5. Okay, so next number, number 230. Find the fourth term of the progression, 1 half, 0.2, and then 0.125. Okay, so parang may pattern tayong makikita dito. So magiging kasi siyang 1 half. Tapos itong 0.2 i-convert natin sa fraction. So ang 0.2, ang 0.2 ay equal yan sa 2 over 10. Then, lowest term ng 2 over 10, divide natin pareha sa 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Okay, so 1 half naging 1 over 5. And then, itong 0 0.125. 0 0.125 converts a fraction. That is 125 over 3 decimal places. So, we have 1,000. So, 1,000 divisible yan by 125. 125 divided by 125, syempre 1 yan, 1,000 divided by 125, that is equal to 8. And then, kung mapapansin nyo, ay meron tayong pattern 1 half, 1 fifth, 1 eighth. So, parang reciprocal. Pag ginawa natin yung reciprocal niyan, magigi siyang 2, 5, 8. And kung mapapansin nyo, meron siyang common difference na, common difference na 3. nag lang tayo ng 3. Okay? So therefore, harmonic progression pala itong uh, sequence natin. So kinahanap natin, fourth term. So ano yung susunod dito? Mag-add lang din tayo dyan ng 3. So 2, 5, 8. So plus 3, we have 11. Tapos kunin natin ang reciprocal ng 11. So yung susunod natin ay 1 over 11. So the correct answer is letter B, 1 over 11. Okay? So that's all. So thank you for watching and kita-kita po tayo sa mga susunod pang reviewer para sa engineering mathematics. Kung may question po kayo, ay i-comment nyo lang po sa aking channel or dito sa aking uh, FB group or DM nyo ako sa aking messenger. Ayan, RJ Ensenyado. So, good luck sa lahat na nagre-review. Bye-bye and God bless.